Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today, we're going to be refurbishing this match unit, which is cool about this match unit, and also not kind of cool. It's also the 10-point chime, which they change later on to you get that chime box. Uh, you can see in my Superstar video how I rebuilt the chime box, which is more preferable, but I guess this is sufficient for the time. Um, we're going to start by taking the wheel off. Well, I call it the little octopus. I think they're called fingers or whatever. We're going to take that off. I don't want to lose anything. A little lock washer. A little tray over here with my extra parts. And this, as you can see, it's keyed. Which I don't think it's really going to matter because it's a continuous. It just continuously goes and goes and goes and goes. And this, I'm going to see if I can get it out. This little spring. Here, how oh, they connected? Where's my flashlight? Is it just like oh, it looks up kind of good. Sure there. I'm gonna have to get my little magnet. This is why I'd like two cameras. A little magnet for that. And is there anything else on it? Another washer? Or is it just wear? Lots of bushing. So let me see if I can show you what I took off to get my camera and move it. And we're going to have to change the battery soon, of course. Okay, this little spring right here was on this post. And you can't see it too good because of the lighting. This spring right here was on this post. There's a washer that goes over the top and then the spring goes on top. So I just took that off so I could get at this wheel better. So we can pull this wheel out, put some lube on it, and clean off all the, the crud that's on it. Hopefully everything's out of the way. There we go. What else is binding on it? Oh, that crap. There we go. Got the wheel off. You see there's some crud on it. Not really much wear. So let's get the old. 3M scrubby. We're just gonna go over it, clean all the little crud off. I'm gonna take some naphtha to this gear. So you can see somebody decided to oil it at one time. I'll get the gear cleaned off. Oh man. Hard day yesterday. So yesterday I rebuilt all them score reels except for two. Um, two of them had bad coils on it. Well, actually the coils are perfect; they still work, except for somehow the, the sleeve got melted inside the coil. So we took that apart. And they're just hanging there, and I have to order some new parts. 
on it. It's like perfectly clean on the inside. Okay, let's um, do a little lube. Super lube. A little lube on the shaft here. Put it back in. Actually, let's not put it back in. Let's get some lube on it. And we'll leave it out because we're going to clean this. Okay, that's out. Let's go on this. Let's get this some cleaning. I'm sure there's probably grease on it. Get that grease off. That's just nasty. I'm gonna get the octopus. We'll just lightly clean the fingers. We're still gonna um go over them just a little bit with uh either um, 600 grit sandpaper or um uh, the 3M pad just to get them um really nice and shiny. Okay, that's done. Octopus is done. This we're gonna not too bad. It's been cleaned once before. I'm guessing when the last person got this, whoever had it before them, just cleaned it up real quick, so it worked. That's nice and perfect now. I'm going to octopus. I put my finger behind each one of these. Just to um, hold it so they don't get bent. And I should have counted. So I know exactly which one I was on. They're in pretty good shape still. Make it the last one or the first one. I don't know. Let's go to two more just to make sure we got them all. Who cares if we went over one twice? There we go. Yeah, yeah they're all done. All right. All the linkage is really good on here. Nothing's binding up. It's all smooth. So I don't feel. I need to take all that apart to um, lube it because it's all working correctly. Beautiful. That's all good to go. We're gonna get that washer. Back on. We're gonna clean that off. It's black. So I'm gonna clean it off with my naphtha towel. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of super lube on it. Just uh, make sure it gets no um, metal to metal. And I'm cleaning this off too. Man, I wish I had two cameras. But still, the side would be hard to see it, even if I did. It's just because it's in a tight area. And clean all these. Spin it off a little bit. Mechanism right here where the bell goes. Your hands all clean. We put our very lightly lubed washer back on. Okay. Now that's it. We're gonna get the spring 
back over the top of there. There we go. Everything's good there. Okay, let's wipe our fingers off. These steppers are just, they're really easy. They look complicated because all the gears, like I've said in my other videos, take lots of pictures. That's what you want to do. Take lots of pictures. I document everything before I pull apart. Because not everybody has the exact same machine or the same stepper or the same wiring. That's why I take pictures of everything now. There we go. Get that octopus. I want to make sure everything's got good tension on it too when I put it back in. Which it looks like. Because they're all sprung real good. And no they don't. Which ones don't? These don't. So we'll bend them a little bit and tweak them a little bit. Just certain ones. I just want the, we're doing the real small ones. These ones, I'm bending them up and then bending these back just a little bit. Because I want them to, all the contacts to roll as flat as possible. that one. You want that to be flat. That one to be flat. I'll have to bend that one. That one to be flat. That one's pretty flat. That one's pretty flat. Let's do this around and see what other ones we got. tension back on them. That's how you can tell get enough tension on them. I'll have that snap to them. Let's get them to go around again. And they all look pretty flat except for this guy right here. This guy still don't like the way he rolls on there. The flatter they are, the better contact footprint they make and the less wear and tear come on why don't you want to go on there they make on the um, board there we go see now that one's really crazy I did that one too much There. Perfect. Let's just go through them all so I can see how each one is going. Good. Perfect. They all got the right contact on them. The 
they're all tight. They're all clean. And they're all lubed up. What more could you ask for? You could ask for a perfect machine, a brand new one. By the way, I wonder if there are any brand new EMs left anywhere. You know, somebody bought one as a collector item and just left it in its box. I doubt it, but that would be cool. Something like a really cool game too. Okay, we got that done. So now we need to pull this off and get it that coil sleeve. Put what a new one of them puppies on. And from the past, what I remember, there is a small, my flashlight's still on, washer behind there, and there it is. And I'm not making that mistake again. I did that with the uh, Superstar. I think it was a Superstar, yeah. I dropped it inside the the board, the relay board. Man, it took forever to find. I hope this battery lasts until I'm done. You know what? Let's leave it like this. We're gonna change the battery. That way we're gonna be perfect. All right, we got the new battery in. So we're gonna go back to taking this apart. And remember, there's a real tiny little washer on there. That we want to get off before we drop it inside the cabinet. There we go. And in this, we just slide it off, exposing the mechanism. See if you can see that better now. Let's move the camera. Okay, this is the spring on that shaft, and that's how it rings the bell. See, it's just basic, regular stepper. So now we're gonna take this coil stop off, put a new coil sleeve in there, get some more of this crud off. back together. Lots of dirt. All these years of slamming and whatever. You get um coil dust, that's what I like to call it. Just from the wear of everything. Coil dust, that's a new word. We're gonna coin that one. Trademark it. Coil dust. And you go through and clean this crud off here. Coil dust and dirt and the yuck over the years. Nice and clean. It will operate better. Is that here? Let's pray this slides out. Oh yes. I have not been having good luck with these on this machine. Everything's been getting stuck. And you can see that coil burned out at one time. Just burned up. That's stained on the wood there. I cannot get that off. I mean, not, not on the wood, on the, um, what do you call it, on the metal. I'm not even going to try to get it off. If I was restoring the machine, yes, it would come off. But I refurbish them. That means I clean them up, rebuild all parts as necessary. Replace anything war. But the machine still has that old, antique, beautiful patina. 
from all the years of everybody enjoying it. And that's what I like. That beautiful patina. Kind of like um, they do with some cars. They, um, just leave them beat. And then they put um, all new suspension on them and different handling packages and brakes and stuff. But they're still the same car in heart. Let's get this on here. Make it easier. And I put it back together. Okay, we need that too. That would help, Mark. That would help if you put that back in there. put this down for a second okay and like I've said before if I don't have the camera in front of me I don't have these weird awkward positions and then I can get my stuff done quicker Come on, stay. That's one. I still use old school screwdriver to snug everything. There we go. Okay, let's get that back up on there. Beautiful. Let's get this over here. So we can get them washers and bolts back on. Okay. As you can see, I got the replay unit out or credit wheel. I got that out because one, it made it easier to get at this and two I installed jumpers on it to make it permanent free play since this machine has zero coin max it doesn't matter um, about um, having um, adding credits anymore because we don't have coin max so it's permanent free play I just can't get these tight with my hand there okay that's one more thing done and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe to us. Check us out at Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade. Thanks for watching and um, there's more to come on us. Thanks. Bye.